Hey Dave. Um, so personally, I enjoy a lot of your music and I think you're a great artist. Um, and the reason that I'm coming to you for this is because you definitely have a voice in our country and the world and you seem like a really nice guy and you make good wine. We need a complete overhaul of our education systems and I saw you and me in the music room and so we call it art every day that every child will have art every day and they will take all the arts they will take photography dancing theater music drawing painting um film is that all but yeah they'll be they'll be part of it that will be something that they go to every day and then when they get to high school um they can specialize in, in the areas that they're, they're ma mainly interested to. Um, it's important for brain development and creativity to, to do those things. And we do need a creative force in our country to solve some of these issues. Uh, the blossom of my flower is literature, it's philosophy, the arts. Um, the STEM is the, um, you know, STEM, but also it needs to include uh, gardening with greenhouses all year round for, for the families and children to be part of. Um, and we have to have that science, that chemistry. They can also um, make up recipes and chemistry class in the kitchen with healthy foods, enjoying that. I don't want just to slop the food on their plate anymore. I want them to partake in that procedure. Um, the leaves, which are um, sports and physical fitness. And, and one place I see very void in the inner city neighborhoods is that the black poor children are not learning to swim. That's partly due to segregation. They, they couldn't go to the pools. Um, so swim team is a great sport. It's nonviolent. It's individual because you get ribbons and it's also a team sport. Plus it engages community parents and things like that to write the ribbons and time the kids. Um, I think that all uh, inner city neighborhoods need to offer a summer school swim team to make sure all these kids are learning to swim. You know, then they can go sailboating or scuba or you know, skydiving into the water like the splash. But if they don't learn to swim, that's a, that's a hindrance in their lives. It's, and you, they learn, I learned when I was three, so that if they learn when they're five, they, they really won't remember a time when they didn't swim. And kids love to be in the pool, but you can't, if you, and you can be in the pool, but you cannot be in a river if you can't swim because nobody can find you. So those kind of free activities of just walking down to the river and playing around in the water. And, and also the parents are afraid they're gonna, you know, I've been with them and taking them places. And, you know, Glenn said, it's, there's not water. She's scared they're gonna drown because they don't know how to swim. And then the roots are family and community and um, serving your family and community as a reason, raison d'etre, um, to have meaning in your life. Um, you know, a lot of money is great if you like doing charity and stuff like that, but if it's just self-serving, it's good gracious, that's, that's not a good way to live. It, it doesn't bring out any kind of true happiness, just just your ego, I guess, for making so much money. I don't know. I've never made that much money, so I don't know. But I have been around people that did ha make that much money, and they didn't do much for charity, and they were pretty miserable. So yeah, the flower is like the role model for education, and I did study a lot of Sir Ken Robinson. I, I taught Reggio, and that, that can be applied in all the grades. Awesome, beautiful, creative, delightful, fantastic. Just come back, let's do it again. I mean, I'm even so far as in as to say, do you want to take the test? You know, I mean, I got yelled at for not paying attention in fourth grade, like I was doing something wrong. It wasn't me. I was a kid. I was just doing what kids do. They shouldn't be sitting down so much either. They need to get up and move because nowadays they go home and they sit in front of the computer or the TV. So I would limit access to, to the um, computer and, and do have a lot more physical fitness, get them out running. If they're sitting in the, and, and, they're, and they're not sitting still in their seats, then it's time to get them up and run them and, and go out and let them play until they get to the point where they can sit still. And it's 
even though it's a class, every child is an individual. Oh, and the other thing is art therapy. Um, well, there's a few other things, but one thing today is um, art therapy in public schools, private too, um, can deal with, they can go and do classroom activities, they can do individual if there's an individual problem, or they can do like small groups. So you're having a kid that's having trouble in the classroom, you don't suspend them anymore. You just send them to art therapy for a couple weeks and they work with them. Um, something's going on. Either the kid's not good in the class, he doesn't like it, and that can be part of it. may not be his thing. Um, but somebody tells him it has to be his thing, that's not right. I mean, you know, you can't fake it. You know, He doesn't like drawing, okay? I tried it, I don't like it. Okay, well you tried it, good. Or math, you don't like math? I don't like math. I mean, that's kids, that's the way kids are. But um, you can't shame them into liking a subject. If, if they're interested and is a good teacher and you present it well, I'm sure they'll take off with it. And the geniuses are gonna be the geniuses and the rest of us will just be the rest of us just kind of muddling along as best we can. But yeah, art therapy, and that will help um, help with violence, you know, especially if we catch them young you know, first, second, third grade, when there seems to be some kind of problem, we can diagnose it and get it fixed. If it's abuse or whatever it is, we need to find out. And, and not just constantly criticize that child for just not acting correctly, or the, the way that you're supposed to act, act in a classroom environment. You may not like the classroom environment, you know? But it is definitely a good time to, to focus on that child and, and get them the help that they need as an individual. I'm listening, I'm listening to one of your CDs right now. Yeah, okay Dave, well, I want to have a venue of music in Buckingham. Some days I just wake up with anxiety and thinking I'm all crazy, and then other days I'm like, hmm, could happen, might happen, you never know. My kids are good, they're all, they're, I'm an empty nester, but they're all away, and yeah, I'd like to find a partner if I get to do the school. You have to be the right person. So I'm, I'm good by myself, but yeah, some an artist or something. It's smart. Have to be smart. <laughs>